What's up guys? Thanks for checking back in to Picky Garage. Today I am going to be doing a in-depth review of the Carly commuter suspension on a 2022 F250 Tremor blacked out package. So this vehicle has the full Tremor or sorry, the full Carly commuter suspension package and I'm going to go ahead and list what that is. I'll bring you guys in here so you can see the hardware and I'll go over what each piece is. Now, the regular Tremor package on a F350 and a F250 lifts the truck about two inches. So, and it's on, uh, it comes stock on 35 inch tires. Now this does have the 37 inch Ridge Grappler tires and um, the Carly commuter suspension raises it about 2.5 inches so it's only with the 37 inch tires and the carly commuter suspension is probably an inch higher than the tremor stock now if your truck does not have the tremor package it'll be significantly higher um, than what it is from stock and i'm going to go ahead and give you guys my honest opinion at the end of this video on whether I think that the suspension made a big difference from the stock to the stock tremor package to the commuter package, um, and if I think it was worth all the money. Um, so going into what you get with the Carly commuter uh, suspension, you get the front leveling coils. So this is just the standard package. There's also add-ons, which I'm going to explain to you guys as well. So with the base package, you get front leveling coils, the Carly custom tuned Fox 2.0 shocks, which are those guys right there. You get the caster shims, front brake lines, those steel brake lines, caster shims, um, high clearance bump stops, and then the track bar. So that full base package will set you back just for parts before labor. $2,150, so $2,150. Now, you can add the optional torsion sway bars with end links. Um, those are up here, right, right there. That'll set you back $1,225. You can get the high mount steering stabilizer, which let me get under here, is that guy right up there that'll set you back three hundred and ninety dollars the low mount steering stabilizer which you're looking at right here which is adjustable three hundred and ninety dollars the carly diff block which is two hundred and ninety dollars you can also see i'll show you all the hardware up in here goes across it all looks like sorry it's a little bit muddy really nice and clean system super easy to install as well and then we have the adjustable coming back here the adjustable radius arms these guys will set you back $1565 now the Fox shocks in the back, you can get leaf springs and some other stuff in the rear, but we just got the Fox shocks back here. That's included with the base package. You can see it on this side and then coming around the side, you can see this guy. He's in there. Oh, that, there you go. Pretty easier to see. They come across from different angles. So the full package, just for the Carly suspension, with no installation, will set you back six thousand around six thousand six thousand two hundred ninety dollars. Now remember, we didn't do the leaf springs in the back because the Tremor package already gives you some added features there that uh, gives you a little bit different. Uh, it, it gives you a difference from the stock F two fifty. With the Ridge Grappler 37 inch tires, $462 a piece for a total of $1,848. Once again, 
these are all numbers before installation. If you install it yourself, you'll save some money. If you take it to someone, it's going to cost you. This commuter package from Carly, which the Fox shocks, like every package that you get from Carly, the shocks are tuned from Carly for the most ideal conditions that you want it for. So this is commuter, so it'll be for commuting. The back country is more for, you know, back road, back country, back road. Now, the difference between the commuter and back country is you, you really can't notice it on the road or on the back road. The only difference is you'll be able to go about 10 to 15 miles per hour faster in the back country on the back roads or in, in like in, in on the hills in the country or whatever you go 10 to 15 miles per hour faster at the same smoothness so i'm trying to f figure out how to explain this better if you're going 10 miles per hour in the commuter you can go 20 to 25 miles per hour with the back country and you'll have the same level of comfort let me know in the comments below if that makes sense. If it doesn't, I'll reword it in, in the description and explain it to you guys. So with the commuter, you get 9.6 inches of travel in the front. And in the rear, you get 13 inches. This, like I said, the commuter gives you a 2.5 inch height difference with the 37 inch tires. Tires, you get a little bit more. Um. With what's cool about Carly suspension is if you want to go ahead and upgrade your parts, the only difference between each package, so the pin top to the back country, the back country, or the pin, or sorry, the commuter to the pin top, the commuter to the back country, and the commuter to the e venture is just the shocks right here. So if you do 100,000 miles and you have to get the shocks retuned or this isn't giving you the level of comfort that you want, you're doing more back road, you're going to your cabin or hunting in the woods or you're doing a lot more off-roading, you can go ahead and just buy the shocks uh, for each subset package. So if you don't like the commuter, everything else stays on the truck. The only difference is the shocks. So I actually have right here the difference. So if you want to get the Fox shocks tuned with uh, reservoirs, so the resis that everyone loves that sit right up here, um, that will be the backcountry package. That'll set you back $1,410. If you want to do the pin top, which is the King 2.5 shocks with resis, that'll set you back $3,100. And like I said, they just send you the shocks and you can just put them, put them on there. You'll have the ones in the front and then the ones that go in the rear. And then the e-venture is $4,795. Now, what they say about the e-venture, you'll be more compliant than the commuter and more stable than the pin top. So it's supposed to be the best of the best of the best. Um, now, with the best of the best of the best, you're gonna surely be paying for it. But with this, you know, just on the road, not doing a lot of off-roading, minimal off-road, you know, just in some cow pastures, some fields, going in the back of the woods, this is all that we, you know, opted for and that we needed. And I can tell you that it is a lot smoother on the road. Now, I can tell a big difference from this commuter setup to a base model F250. The Tremor package to the commuter, I might notice a 10, 20% difference, if that. Now, I haven't done a lot of time with this suspension yet. Um, haven't really taken it off-road that much, just in a cow pasture, as that's pretty much all the off-roading that we do. Um, now, in the TRX, I do have a TRX. Um, do a lot more off-roading in that, and I can say that the shocks on the uh, Ram TRX blow this away. Um, now, this is a diesel truck. This is a work truck. This is for towing, all those things. So, for what it is, it serves the best purpose. These shocks do a great job. Um, you know, you get a lifetime, you know, quality part, parts that are going to last you for a very long time. And like I said, if you don't like the commuter package, you can easily switch the shocks out for the Carly custom tuned pin top back country, um, or E venture. So King shocks, the Fox shocks with reservoirs, whatever you may need. Um, but 
I haven't had the privilege of driving the back country or the pin top. So these are just my opinions and from the you know hundreds of hours of reviews that I've watched. In all honesty, it pretty much sounds like this this um, package does it all and you can't really notice a difference unless you're doing a lot of off-roading and you know going crazy on whoops and that's what the trx is for and i can say like i like i said the trx's handling stability all that stuff blows this away like it's not even comparable but for a truck that you're going to be towing with and putting stuff in the in the bed and whatnot doing truck things this is a great package and was it worth the ten thousand some dollars for installation parts and everything I don't know. I really, I really haven't decided that yet. Uh, the tremor package on these trucks are phenomenal as uh, is, and I didn't really have that many complaints. But everyone raves about the Carly suspensions, so needed to give it a try. And it, it's a nice suspension. I just don't know if it's worth all the money. It's very expensive. So I will be doing more miles in this thing and try to give you guys a. Oh wow! Look at all the deer. And try to give you guys more of an in-depth review. I did a review of this truck as well. You can check it out on my channel. But I'll go ahead now and uh, take it down the road. All right, guys. So here we are driving in the F-250 Tremor package. And it's super smooth. The steering's super nice really don't have any real complaints about the suspension. It's really nice. For the most part, I'm loving it so far. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm not sure if I can tell a major difference yet in the quality of the drive. Um, it was gone for a little bit while getting the suspension on. Um, so I would like to drive a stock one again to realize or see what it's like stock. Um, but yeah, you can see it's a, I mean, it's hard to articulate, you know, driving feel and everything and steering. The steering is super, it's nice. I, I, I like it so far. Now, do I like the cost? That's something that I'm going to have to decide in time. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys another, you know, look around the suspension. I just wanted to do a little driving, showing you guys the driving. Um, I guess I'll have to do like an off-road portion of this as well. That'll probably be in, you know, my follow-up review, my final thoughts maybe of the Carly commuter. But yeah, it, it handles nice. It's a, it's a really good commuter, good, good commuter package. All right, guys, here's a under the carriage look. One second. What's up? Okay. One second. All right, guys, that's a full initial review of the Carly commuter package. Let me know if you guys have any questions at all. Leave them in the comments below, and I'll get back to each and every one of you. I'll also put in the comments below all the different descriptions, differences, pricings, and everything for all the components on the truck. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.